Hi everyone and welcome to English Lessons with Inlingua. I'm Tash and today I'm going to talk to you about the various uses of the word made. This is something my students ask me about quite often. There's so many different ways that we use words in English. And today we're just going to look at four different uses for the verb made. I have a title for you at the top. Made from, of, out of, or with. How do you decide which is the correct term to use? So, I have my examples all set up. You'll see the colour is the same for each one. I'm using red for made and green for the preposition that goes with this sentence. So, let's have a look at the first one in more depth. Made from. When do we use made from? Well, we use made from when we are talking about how something is manufactured. I have two example sentences for you up here. Plastic is made from oil and paper is made from trees. One good thing to remember for made from is that we usually cannot see the thing that has been made into the new material. When I take a piece of plastic, I do not look at it and see oil. I can only see the plastic. When I take something made of paper, I cannot see a tree. I can only see the paper. So, I put that to the side for you. The tree becomes the paper. Now we cannot see what is inside of it. Let's have a look at made of. And these two are really similar. So the key is to remember what you see. With made of, we're talking about the basic material or qualities of the material. So we would use made of, for example, talking about a necklace. She wore a necklace made of silver. When I look at the necklace, I can see the silver. My second example, books are made of paper. So I've used paper twice to help you to see the difference. Okay? Paper is made from trees. I cannot see the tree. Books are made of paper. I can see the paper. Okay so far? Great. Let's have a look at one that's a little bit more complicated. Made out of. Made out of. We use made out of when we actually change the purpose of the original object. Usually, made out of implies that we took one thing and gave it a new purpose, a new use. So I have two examples for you again. My first one, this candle holder is made out of a wine bottle. To help you understand, I've drawn a small picture. You can see my wine bottle, original purpose, holding my delicious wine, good stuff. And now I have taken that wine bottle and taken a candle put the candle in the wine bottle and now it is a beautiful decoration for my house. So, the wine bottle is not holding wine anymore. Now it is a candle holder. This candle holder is made out of a wine bottle. Do you understand? I hope so. Let's look at my second example to see if that helps. The bookshelf is made out of an old ladder. I tried to draw you a picture for this one as well, but my art skills weren't good enough. So, imagine a ladder you can climb up. Take the ladder, turn it sideways, put it on the wall. Now I can put my books on this ladder and it is a beautiful bookshelf. I've seen this in a few of my friends' houses actually and I think it's really clever. They have taken an old ladder and given it a new purpose. This bookshelf is made out of an old ladder. One more, and this one's the easiest, so I left it till last. Made with. When we say something is made with something else, we're usually talking about ingredients. For example, with food. This dish is made with beef. This dish is made with beef. Beef is one of the ingredients in the dish. My second example, is sushi always made with raw fish? Or can it be made with something else, an ingredient? You can use made with for food and cosmetics, like body lotion or shower gel. And you will see it in drugstores sometimes on the advertisements. This lotion is made with the finest material. They want you to buy 
the ingredient that is making their lotion exceptional. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope that's helped you with some of the made uses in English. I've numbered them one, two, three, four. So if you go to the comments section below, you can give your own example sentences. Okay, tell me something that is made from something, made of something, made out of something, and made with something. Thanks for watching once again, and please subscribe to get more videos. See you later.